guys henry coming at you with a new video here um today we're going to be looking at primarily um the os versions of each uh of each phone um what I, what we're going to be looking at today is 10.3.1 versus 10.3.2 um both of these being the newest um the newest leaked for each version of the software i also have my z10 here which is currently loaded at 10.3.0 which is one of the earlier versions of that uh of that software. I do have a Samsung Mega here just for size comparison. Um, uh, again, we're just going to look at some of the differences here. Um, what kind of sparked me to make this video was the fact that there isn't really a video on these new versions of software. Again, as of making this video, these are the newest ones. Um, not sure if I'll go ahead and keep updating them as new leaks come along, being that there seems to be a new leak every, uh, at least every couple of weeks now. Um, but we are going to be looking at this because I wasn't sure which OS to load. What, what has been going on recently, I've actually switched to Android. Um, I've been using the LG G3, um, primarily because I wanted a phone with, with beefier specs, um, 3 gigs of RAM, um, updated processor, fancier screen. It, it was It's definitely nice and it's been an experience. Um, more recently, I've caught myself kind of missing the BlackBerry 10 um software so um i, I kind of decided um to go with the q10 um, i've had my z10 sadly uh in a drawer collecting dust hasn't been updated since since that time here and i've occasionally um used uh my z30 um just mainly for netflix and everything like that i still maybe while i'm charging my my phone or something um and this this primarily will stay charged i also like the email um, how BlackBerry 10 does that. So I actually did not load any of my emails uh, accounts on my Android device. Um, I would use my uh, BlackBerry Z30 here for that. Occasionally I'd catch myself missing some emails because I wouldn't check it quite frequently, but I would just pop on the Wi-Fi and then boom, notifications of emails. So that's definitely good. Um, uh, currently, um, now, as of now, I'm using the BlackBerry Q10 um, again, I found myself missing um, BlackBerry 10, and I've also wanted a, something with a, a keyboard. Of course, I could have gone in something bigger and gone with the BlackBerry Classic with the tool belt, but um, I didn't find the specs um, were like, enough to go for that device. The Passport, amazing device, but uh, too, maybe too big for my hands when I went in to play with it. So I went with the um, with the Q10, got it unlocked. Uh, um, not too expensive at all, and right now, so um, definitely something that I can I could could just go out and get and try. And pocket friendly, size is awesome. Really well built device, along with the the Z10 here. Uh, Z30 um, was all right, but um, it was with the Paratech antenna and maybe just what it is. Uh, the screen size is really the, probably the best thing about it. But again, we'll go ahead and take a look at software here. Again, we're running uh, the three different versions of that, different specs on each device. So yes, things might load a bit different, but we're mainly looking at what's changed over the time frames here. So um, one of the immediate things that I've noticed just out of a 3.0 to 3.2, um, again, just, just uh, skipping that whole 10.3 there, um, is in the display settings. One of the things that has been added with 3.1 going forward is the option to um, to hide your action bar while scrolling. So what we'll go ahead and do here, and we can see this um, when we browse the internet, um, again in different types of apps, but you do have that here as well. So what we'll go ahead and do, we'll keep this action bar on, we'll keep this one off, and by default this does not have this feature. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and just leave it as is. You can show the, the icon labels uh, if you'd like. Um, so that's there. Um, the peak looks the same across the, all the boards except for 3.2. They've added the date there. So now when you uh, peek at your notifications and scroll over, you do see the date that is there. And yeah, it's not there on these other ones. But again, we'll go ahead and look at the browser really quick. And we will do uh, just a, we'll load a web page as well here. Um, so we can definitely look at that. All right, so we're primarily going to focus on these two. Um, we'll try to load these simultaneously, and then we'll come back on 3.0 and just load that 
so you can see so off we go and what I've done I've put them all on airplane mode and uh, same Wi-Fi so they're all sharing the same Wi-Fi right now so uh, loaded across the board here um, so as you can see um, the constant of the action bar here doesn't change you can easily go in there type an address if you want to to change web pages but um, it is there um, with this one here you can uh, again it goes away and with the three point on forward you can control that so that's something that I've noticed um, nothing too big um, what's also gone is in these settings here display in action you have Adobe Flash still on the 3.0 versions of the software again gone on the newer versions of BlackBerry 10 they've uh, gone away with the with the Adobe Flash support um, for what reasons is, is their own not 100% sure on that one uh, again the keyboard software keyboards you can change um, if we go to uh, input here with the um, with the virtual keyboard appearance here on the Q10 which is a 3.1 uh, here you can actually choose if you want it uh, dark light or automatically what that means is like uh, the symbol keys uh, that will load up here um, will be a different color um, as of right now I don't have that here actually okay <laughs> sorry about that guys uh, you can actually change the keyboard to a light keyboard um, so we can test that and that is definitely something that's awesome uh, again you don't have this capability on the 3.0 but um, again so far back uh, if you're watching this video it's probably because you like BlackBerry 10 um, so you you may be aware of that but that is something uh, something to keep in mind there it's something pretty cool that they've added and um, and again that's 3.2 so we'll go ahead and get out of here. Um, other things that they've added in 3.2 uh, uh, in the softwares, uh, software going forward here. Um, let's see here. Uh, again, you can always choose to uh, to not show the the app screens here. Is a uh, battery saving mode. So battery saving mode is definitely something you can you can turn on, and. Um, and you, you know you can tell it to to shut things off at a certain time frame. You can adjust the uh, when you want the battery saving mode to be turned on, um, and that's definitely something really good. Um, what I've noticed is in battery life here. Um, again, I really only use uh, the Z30 when I'm watching uh, YouTube videos and or something, and I want something bigger. I can just reach over and grab it, uh, turn on the Wi-Fi, watch a video, and go. Um, um, is 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 the battery life on the three or the newest version of the leaked here on three point one? I can usually go about two days with it. Um, I may not have a, the the most apps loaded on here, but I definitely do use the phone. Um, ca watch uh, calculator, recording, internet browsing, um, videos, Instagram, Facebook, um, some Android apps again, just like, like the Netflix there um, that I do have on the phone, and I use it quite frequently. Um, I can usually get about two days with it. Um, working work day, I come back home uh, after using it throughout the day. Um, I'm about fifty percent, so I don't really have to charge it right away. I'm not running to the charger to get that going. Um, on the on these other guys, they usually stay on airplane mode and and only turn on when I need them to for Wi-Fi. But for the last two days, at least, they've been on that airplane mode. And uh, again, the the Z30 year has been used, uh, so 43% with that, and the Z10, 53%. Uh, so we, we can also take a look at what they are actually using and what's causing these drains. So we'll go into the App Manager, Device Monitor, and we'll take a look at that. So with 10.3.0, last I charged it was Wednesday at 9.30 in the morning, unplugged it, left it alone, and you can tell we've been using it a little bit just to kind of uh, play around with it. You can see what's taking up battery life as well. With the uh, Q10, we'll do the same thing. And again, this is running 10.3.0. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. 10.3.1, so sorry. So again, this was last charged um, actually this morning. So 76%, again, this is my daily driver. So I did use that 9GB great app. Um, 
yeah, not a lot going on with that. Um, so that's that battery life right there. We'll take a look at the other 10.3.2 here. And again, these two devices have mainly just been on airplane mode, but there you go. You can also see um, when that was last charged, which was on Tuesday. So um, actually um, further back than the Z30, which is 3.0. So the optimizations that they made going forward are definitely really good. BlackBerry seems to have not given up, at least on the software side. Not too fond with what they're doing with the hardware, um, but the Passport, again, is an amazing device. Software seems like they're going to keep going with it, and they're doing really well. Um, optimizations across the board there. Um, you can tell that uh, these OSs are kind of uh, new newly loaded. They've been at least uh, loaded on these devices for at least about two weeks now, so they've had some time to uh, to kind of settle what I also want to show you is the Android runtime. So we'll try to get these two as close as we can as possible to load. Uh, we'll just do Netflix. Um, so here we go. Loaded at the same time there. You can kind of see them running and you can get a, an idea of how, of how they load uh, Android apps. So again, 10.3.2 loaded that a bit quicker. It wasn't uh, too much of a difference, but it is it is nice to see that the um, the runtime is getting faster, um, more seamless. Uh, in that case here, um, by default they came loaded with the um, with the Amazon App Store, which is which is all right. But um, what I've been using on my Android devices, just because everything is web based with that, um, is the AppToy App Launcher, um, AppToy App Store. Um, for my Android apps, um, it's it's definitely really nice. You can just go in there, Google App Toy, download the APK, um, and immediately just start loading. Um, I remember on my Z third, my Z ten here, I'm still using Snap, which is cool. It's still on my PC. I can definitely side load that, but App Toy is just uh, it's smoother and faster for me, so I go ahead and use that. Um, what I also want to test out here, guys, is the um, is the boot screen so we'll, we'll go ahead and restart these devices and we'll test up the uh the startup and you guys can go ahead and see that for yourself so one moment and we'll go ahead and turn these off here there we go guys so all of the devices are essentially just finishing shutting off now um we'll wait till they completely shut off and then we'll uh we'll attempt to boot up here so just to make sure that they are off there. All right, nothing's coming on. We're gonna load um, 3.1 and 3.2 uh, together uh, simultaneously here, just so we can, um, since these are the newest uh, leaks out and the newest builds, we definitely wanna to see, to see uh, how they are um, going backwards. Again, this was just a display. So just a moment here, and we'll go ahead and, and boot these up together. This was not well planned out, but hold on, guys. This is what we'll... <laughs> Alright, guys, sorry about that. Just still trying to make sure we can make this as legitimate as possible in regards to their loading. So, let's see here. And I did not turn that on on time, so we'll go ahead and just turn it on and see which one loads. Um... Uh, see, see if the newer version 3.2 gets a gets a a speed boost here. So again, these these two Blackberries are running essentially the same amount of um, of Android apps. Really, only Netflix is loaded on these devices. And again, the Aptoid uh, App Store uh, BlackBerry 10 OS apps are similar, but there is a bit more loaded on the Q10 here, just because I am using that. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And again, I do wish I could have gotten them exactly on time, but we are seeing a speed difference. Even though the Q10 had a head start with 3.1, uh, 3.2 seems to be uh, moving along quicker there. So that kind of gives you an idea of uh, of uh, the optimizations that they made there. Um, I might wait just to just for the next uh, iteration of 3.2 to to upgrade the Q10 here. But um, as of now, um, really satisfied across the board. Battery life is solid. Um, uh, not too many changes across the the devices here. Um, in regards of drastic changes, uh, 10 BlackBerry 10 still runs the same, and it runs efficient for everything that you would need it to run. 
Um, and yeah, um, I do love Blackberry 10's ability to just uh, uh, simultaneously load um, Blackberry uh, YouTube videos in the background without any sort of um, without any sort of um, modding to the actual device itself. Um, you can instantly just uh, play a video, get out of there, uh, load the App Store, get out of there. You know, the multitasking is just amazing on, on these BlackBerry 10 devices and, and instantly just go back to your video. Um, with Android, you can definitely do something like this. Um, you do have to mess around with the, with the different things there, but um, BlackBerry 10 is just seamless with that there. So I do hope BlackBerry uh, comes out with maybe a more streamlined hardware, uh, maybe with Passport specs. That would be really great. Um, but yeah, at, at this point in time, again, we just looked at the software of the three versions, and uh, I hope I did it justice, guys. If you guys have any questions or uh, or anything like that, I'd be happy to answer in the uh, comments below. Um, go ahead and let me know. Again, this was Henry with, uh, with the BlackBerry 10 software video, so um, talk to you all later. Bye.